first thing I want you to be doing is sketching out either you can sketch the Venn diagram one by one as I do it on this video or you can sketch them all out and then you can shade them in it's up to you so pause the video have a go with question one here so we're just shading in a okay so for a you should have got this so we're shading in a that set a shaded in okay now have a go with question two i want you to shade in set b okay so you should have got this okay so mark your work as we do it um, pause the video and have a go with question three so you're shading in set a union b okay so for a union b um, we know that we're shading in everything inside A, everything inside B, and everything inside both sets. Okay, question four, pause the video, have a go. Okay, so you should have A and B, or you can say A intersection B, which is just the middle bit there. Okay, so now try question five and six together. If you can do one, you should be able to do both. Pause the video. Okay, so I'm gonna show you question five. So not A is everything outside of A. So that's all of this area here. Um, we don't include that middle bit because that's, that's still in A. And then for not B, it's gonna be everything outside of B. Okay, so now try question seven. A union B not or the complement of A union B. Pause the video, have a go. Okay, so now that you should have tried it, let me just go through this with you. So we want A union B. Now we know what A union B is because you can see it up right above on the top. So A union B is everything inside both circles shaded in. But we want the complement of that. So we want the, the not, so the inverse. So the inverse would be to shade in all of the outside. I hope you got that correct. Or at least if you didn't get it correct, I hope you get the um, what I've done there. So A union B, the complement of A union B. And uh, now I want you to try question eight, which is this one here, which is not A intersection B. So take a second and try that. Okay, so um, this one is, these the bottom row are slightly harder. So I'm gonna take my time just to explain these a little bit more uh, clearly um, so we want everything that's the complement of a so let me shade that in in red so not a is all of this area there and then it says we want it to intersect with b so let's do that in blue the intersection of b so b this is all set b yeah so because we're looking for where they overlap i'll shade this in in purple the overlap bit is actually everything inside here so you can see it gets a little bit messy if you're not careful so i'm going to just clear this up just to make sure the explanation is nice and tidy we want the overlap of not a and b so not a is all of this area here. B is, this time I'm gonna use the same color. B is this area here. The bit with the cross hatching is this crescent shape. So all I actually want to shade in is this bit here. So that, that is 
not A intersecting with B. Um, now try question nine. So A union not B. Okay, so this time is the union, so I'm going to combine everything inside A with everything that is not B. So when we're looking at A, um, set A, that's going to be everything in here. But I also want not B. So not B is everything outside of B. So let's use a red pen here. Now, because it's a union, I'm just going to take everything that's shaded in, not just the, the parts that are cross-hatched. So A with everything that's not B. So we can shade that in by doing A and not B. So everything here. And then the last example here, not A intersecting with not B. So have a go with that last question, not A intersecting with not B. Okay, so you should have had a go now. So first of all, I'm going to shade in not A. Now we'll do that in green. So not A is all of this. And then I'm going to use a blue pen to shade in not B. So not B is everything outside of set B. And you can see I'm left with uh, various bits that overlap and, so, and the middle bits that don't. So because I want the intersection, I'm interested in just the bits that are cross-hatched. So you can see that it's going to be everything outside of this area here. So when I cross-hatch it, or when I look at the cross-hatching, I can see the bit I'm actually shading in is going to be all of this area. And that's it. So on the next page, um, which I'm going to show you now, this is just a summary of what we've done. Take, take about five minutes to actually look at this carefully and go through it and make sure you can make sense of all of the shading that's been done here. They start off really straightforward. The, the bottom rows is not actually that tricky, but if you look at it carefully, you should be able to do that question and variations of that question um, from the next video onwards. But there aren't that many combinations that are not listed here. There's about, mm, there's about only four or three or four missing on here. Okay, I will see you in the next video.